Okay, uh, I'm going to show how to install one of our Tibetan lamp modules into a Bell & Howell projector. This is a, the LED plug-in module, it's LED PIM, and uh, it replaces the, the original DJL lamp. And if you have a projector, uh, 456, uh, 462, 466, any of the 400 series and some of the 300 series projectors. Uh, you can use this LED. These are rated at 50,000 hours. So what you're going to want to do uh, is take off the lamp housing cover and then pull out the original lamp if it's burned out of course and toss it and then what you'll have is an open socket here and what you're going to need to do is remove this baffle this uh, it's a it's a light shield i guess designed to keep the light from coming up through the top of the projector but you won't need that in fact you won't even be able to install this with that baffle in the way. So you gotta get rid of that. Best way to do that is just take a drill and drill the heads off of these rivets, these little metal rivets here, and this piece will come right off. Then your projector should look like this. Now I'll see if I can get a, see if we zoom in here just a little bit. There, it should look like that. Okay, so then what you're going to want to do, which is usually the way we ship our PIMS out, and they have a little uh, uh, protector on them. And what you'll want to do is take this out of the box carefully, carefully open it up, make sure you don't cut into any wires, and then you'll remove the protective cap over the socket, over the plug. And then the best way to do this is to lay your projector down flat on its back. Let me make sure I've got this. Yeah, okay. So lay it down flat, then take your plug-in module, your LED plug-in module, and just let it glide down in, keep it square, and push it down in and it should click into place and if it's tight if it's firm it won't it won't wobble around at all when you push a little back and forth on it so go ahead and stand your projector up and then you can plug it in and then you can test your module and turn the switch on it might take a couple seconds for it to light up there you go And that is that. Okay, when you get it all set up, when you got your spool up a reel of film and uh, whoop, and turn it on, enjoy your films. Whoop, here, let me see here what's going on here. We got a, there we go. So spool up some film. There you go. So that's a pretty good looking transfer. And you can edit that in Mobavi and crop it off and uh, and fill the frame. It's pretty good for a off the wall transfer. And this is just using a Bell and Howell, just a regular old ordinary Bell and Howell 462A. And we pulled out the light baffle, put in the Tibetan lamp modules. Uh, LED pin, wound up some film, 
Turned on the camera and this is what we got. Okay. Well, thanks for watching. Take care.